Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and obviously, thefightcity.com. So, as usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in combat sports. Now, this weekend that just passed, we were treated to an excellent fight in Quebec City. Adonis Superman Stevenson versus Sakio the Scorpion Bika. Terrific showdown, PBC on CBS in the middle of the afternoon. Now, uh, it was a fantastic fight, a shutout win for our man Adonis. However, uh, it was a tough fight, and Sakio Bika literally pulled out every trick he had from his bag of tricks. Forearms, elbows, uh, forehead, headbutts, trips, whatever he could get away with, he basically pulled. Now, all in all, he touched the canvas a total of three times if you count the time that he took Adonis down with him. Now, it was a tough, hard-fought fight, but Adonis still scored the shutout with two knockdowns. Now, a lot of people, including myself, were predicting um, KO finale. However, Sakio Bika is just tough as nails. Now, um, it was a fun card in Quebec City, and uh, PBC is still in the growing phases, I guess, of becoming a major promotion. However, they did make some changes to their previous formula. First off, they allowed the fighters to come out with their own ring entrance music, which is a nice change from the generic music that they were using for every single fighter on their other shows. So at least the individuality of each fighter gets to be represented. However, um, in the other events, they've been ignoring the other sanctioning bodies and belts and uh, completely dismissing them. However, this time around, when they introduced Adonis, they did not mention the WBC belt. However, when they reintroduced him after winning and uh, presented him to the fans as the WBC champ, and still. Um, so, I mean, maybe they're getting a little lenient, but there's also a rumor out there that Adonis might just uh, vacate the title in order to avoid fighting Kovalev and uh, maybe fight somewhere in Haiti this summer. Now this this really bothers me because, okay, I do not think Adonis Stevenson will fare the same as Jean Pascal did against Kovalev. However, I do think Kovalev will beat Adonis at this present moment. Now, um, I didn't see anything in that Sakio Bika fight that would guarantee me a win against Sergei Kovalev. In the past, I've compared Sergei Kovalev to Lex Luthor, but I think I gotta change that, because the truth is, it's looking more and more like he's Doomsday. And we all know that Doomsday is the man that kills Superman. Now, this leads me to who's the real Lex Luthor? Well, Al Heyman. Al Heyman's the man. Because now the other rumor is, he might just start his own belt. Now, if you go to my previous shows, I said that's probably where he's gonna be heading. And, well, sure enough, the rumor's out there now. Now, this makes things a little more complicated considering that they did produce the WBC belt at the end of the event. However, I do see it as being very likely that Adonis vacates it and then becomes the PBC champion. Hope it's not true. Say it ain't so, champ. Somewhere in a dark corner of a Russian mountain, Sergei Kovalev is laughing maniacally. Well, this leads me to my other point. PBC is coming back at us again next weekend, this Saturday night, on NBC. We've got none other than Danny Swift Garcia versus Lamont Peterson. Now, terrific fight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a big fan of Danny Garcia. A lot of people say he's a cherry picker, but I mean, say what you want. The kid's got talent. Now, there's a lot of people that talk about who the greatest trainers are, and a lot of people drop people like Freddie Roach's name or uh, even the money team, or you'll hear, you know, other trainers and coaches be mentioned. Now, here's the thing. Say what you want about Danny Garcia Sr., Danny Garcia's dad. Sure, he's maybe the guy you warn your friends about at, you know, family parties and functions. However, he is one hell of a trainer, and I'll tell you why. Because Freddie Roach never took a fighter from day one and made him into an undefeated champion. Mr. Garcia has. 
Danny Garcia's record is a complete reflection of his father. So say what you want about his father acting a fool, the man knows what he's doing and he's an excellent trainer. I'm looking forward to their fight this Saturday, make sure you tune in, PBC on NBC. So this leads me to my last point for this week, since I've already mentioned Freddie Roach, and we're less than 30 days away from the Mayweather Pacquiao showdown, I want to give a personal message to Manny Pacquiao. See, I personally thought this show should have happened a couple years ago. Now, if you tune in my other episodes, particularly the one where Mayweather's got a red asterisk on him, I explain in detail why I don't think this fight should have went down. However, it's happening, and I'm going to be happy that it is, because all in all, it's good for boxing. And even though I want Manny to win, I don't think Manny will win. And I don't think a loss to Floyd will hurt Manny in any way. However, if Floyd were to lose, it would be a major chink. However, I will say this. My message to Manny is this. Reside yourself with the fact that there's a strong possibility you're not going to win. If it was me in Manny's shoes, knowing the people in the public would still love me despite the outcome, I would go for it. I would go as hard as I possibly could, kamikaze style. I would not throw one punch with the intent of scoring a point. No punches to the body, no punches to the head. Every single punch would be focused on his shoulders, elbows and wrists. I would break his fucking hand. Cause here's the thing, I don't even care if Mayweather wins, I don't care how Mayweather wins. What I want is somebody to prove he's human. I want him on his ass. I want his nose bleeding. I want Manny Pacquiao to shatter his brittle hands. And I want him to retire without getting to 50. I want him to be crippled from fighting Manny Pacquiao. Win all you want, Floyd. Cash that check. But those hands will never close again. And that's how I would fight him. I would do everything in my power to break his fucking hand. Cause at least I would go down being known as the guy that broke Mayweather's hand. Is Mayweather mortal? This is the question I want solved. So that's it for me this week. Make sure you tune into my other shows, Fight Week Roundup, Fight Week Rundown. Tune into the Fight City, Montreal's best combat sports website. And uh, if you like the t-shirt, scroll down to the bottom and uh, you can order yourself one. I make a couple bucks off of that. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.